Hi, we're the Brew Dudes and we got an extreme tasting for you today. Today we're going to be tasting double IPAs. It's one of my favorite styles of beer. These are extremely hoppy, extremely bitter, and don't try this at home. <laughs> for all true hop heads out here though, this is your style. Alright. Alright, we're going to start off with a Goose Island Imperial IPA out of Chicago, Illinois. Second up, we have the Avery Maharaja out of Colorado. Third, we have the Hercules IPA from Great Divide Brewery out of Colorado. And last, we have Bell's Hop Slam out of Michigan. And I can tell you, I can already smell the hops from way back yeah, here. So we're trying to sit back so the smells don't mix. Yeah, all right. So first up, the Goose Island. Hmm. Rather wow. fruity. I like these hops. Yeah. They're really nice smelling. Um, kind of a citrusy hop, really, here. Very nice. Yeah, with a dash of pine on the top. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is bitter. Hop bomb. Love it. Yeah. Ah, the malts come through in the end. Save my tongue. Yeah, it doesn't overdo it. It still balances out for the style. And Great beer. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly sort of fruity. I'd say some grapefruit in the hops. It's nice. Yeah, it's all citrus. Yeah. With a little bit of pine. And um, the malts come through in the end. Really great. All right. Now we have the Maharaja. Mmm. Kind of a... Not not necessarily sweet, uh, citrus sweet, but um, definitely some. I'd say definitely of, very grapefruity on that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, got um, some interesting fruits like peaches and things of that nature, as well as the citrus hot. Yeah, the light fruits come through in the flavor too. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's tastes great. like apricots and uh, and hops. Of course. Yeah, this is very bitter as well. Ooh, I'd say yeah. it's not quite as balanced as the Goose Island. No, the Goose Island blends a little better, but the interesting characteristic of the Maharaja is that it's got those apricot, orange, peach flavors in there that I really like. Mm -hmm. Now we have the Hercules double IPA. Not as strong a nose as the others, but there's pine grass here. Yeah, definite grass in that one. The pine really comes through in the taste. Yeah, that. and the, it's stronger on the malts. It, it relieves your tongue faster than the other two. Yeah, but I'd say piney hops pretty much come through throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I'd say piney hops is a story here. It's the best blended because it saves your tongue, but the hops come in in the beginning and cut the taste of any really strong food that you have to be eating this with. Last but not least, Bell's Hop Slam. Ooh. Flowery with some grass and citrus on top too. Nice. All types of hops here. Yeah. Mm. Very intense. Three different kinds of hops are punching you in the face right here. Yeah, that is quite bitter, but it also has the might malt back. These are all very, very blended. Yeah, for the style, these are actually pretty balanced. You get a lot of double IPAs that are just pure hops. They don't bother with the malt back, but all four of these actually have that. It really should have a malt back, I feel. Um, it allows you to enjoy the hops each time you take a sip. Um, there's not a beer in here I don't like, but we're going to do thumbs up, thumbs down. And it's going to be hard to give any of these a thumbs down for me, at least. Goose Island, big thumbs up here. I love the kind of citrus, grassy hop combination. It's also very well blended with the malts in the end. I think it is very good. Yeah, I'm giving it a thumbs up as well. I'd say I think that is actually the most balanced for the style, and it is an excellent beer. The Avery Maharaja, I'm going to give a thumbs up as well. Interesting fruit characteristics are the, uh, the story in this beer. You should really give it a try because you're not going to taste another IPA like this. Yeah, I'm also giving it a thumbs up. I don't know any other I double IPAs that taste eat with the same sort of hop flavors that this one gives, and it is excellent. All right, uh, third, we're going to do the Hercules. That is a thumbs up for me. I love grassy, piney hops, and that has this in spades. Um, but it is easily the most malty of all four. So I'm going to say big thumbs up, especially if you like grassy or piney hops. Yeah, I'm also giving it a big thumbs up. It is very piney. I caught that more than anything, and it is an excellent beer. Hop Slam, I'm giving a huge thumbs up because it has flowery hops. 
piney hops, grassy hops, and even citrus hops. It is a hop lover beer if you love any kind of hop. It'll be in this beer. I guarantee it. Yeah, I give that one a huge thumbs up. It's hard to choose a winner for the day, but I think that one wins it for me. It's just very, just a lot of hop flavors, very still balanced, but very intense as well. Well, this is our first review that uh, we gave all thumbs up to every beer, and I think it's a well-deserved thumbs up to every beer. Yeah, none of, there wasn't a bad in the bunch, and they were all awesome. Thank you very much for watching. We're the Brew Dudes. Visit our website at www.thebrewdudes.com. We'll see you next time. Happy drinking.